Hello and welcome to this first update on the drone mod. It's a mod I'm developing involving drones, which can uh, automate a number of tasks for you. They, um, yeah, there's uh, a few blocks and items involved. I'm going to be going through them and uh, I'm going to show you what it does, but I'm also going to talk about what needs to be done, what needs to be implemented. And um, yeah, let's go to it. So first we're going to create a farm here. Uh, there's two blocks involved. This is the drone base, which actually contains a drone and launches it. And uh, yeah, that's that's that. And this is a work marker, which uh, tells the drone where it needs to do its work. And uh, there's a radius of four currently set. And we could increase it to five or decrease it to three, or it could be anything really. Um, so that's, uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, so if we want to make a drone, we're gonna have to get one. So I have one in my inventory right here. These are all the items involved in uh, in my mod right now. So here's a number of drones, and these are all the parts that are required to make them. Uh, so yeah, there's frames here. Just, I'll go through that in a minute. But first, uh, let's grab one of these uh, weak gain quadcopters. So that's the lowest tier. They can only carry one module and one battery. So as the tiers get higher, uh, more of these things could be uh, could be part of the, the drone. So let's get a module. So first we want to till the ground. So we're gonna get a tilling module. We're gonna put that in here, and then we're gonna put that in there. And if we launch the drone, it's going to go it's going to go to the previous farm that I had been. <laughs> I've been working with, but doesn't matter. Let's start again. Here, we'll put this in there, and then in there, launch. All right, there we go. So it's going to till the ground around that work uh, work marker. So as it does that, and it actually needs some water, but no, doesn't matter. Um, otherwise, the ground will turn back into just soil. But uh, we'll grab a planting module and we'll grab a weekend quadcopter and we'll put the planting module in here. And I'm not gonna launch it just yet, but uh, we need a chest first. A chest because it wants to plant seeds and it needs to get those seeds from somewhere. So we're gonna put an inventory next to the drone base and we're gonna put some seeds in there. So that should be enough and then we're gonna launch it and it's going to fly to the first uh, block that it needs to work at but uh, it's discovered that it doesn't have enough seeds so it's going to get some from here so you, you retrieve them from there and it's go oh. <laughs> that was not <laughs> supposed to happen but um, yeah so it's going to plant the seeds and it's going to do it everywhere where it can if there's already something there, then it can do it. Or if there's already uh, the soil isn't tilled yet, then it can do it. So it's going to go around and just continue planting those. And we can actually clear out these. Oh, <laughs> oh get out of the way. So they can't get mad at you, at least not yet. <laughs> so you can hit them all you want. But uh, yeah. So, um, all right, next. We'll probably want to fertilize these uh, seeds because we don't want to wait around just sitting here waiting until everything grows. So we're just going to get, uh, no, not that one, fertilize module. And we're going to put that in here. It's pretty much the same deal. Put that in there, launch it, but it gonna need some, it's going to need some bone meal. So let's get some of that. Put that in there and it's going to go ahead and get it out of there and then start fertilizing everything. So let's get a few more seeds actually. And a few more bone meal. So that it will have enough. So normally I'd, be, I'd make a bigger farm so that all these drones have enough space to work uh, without running into each other. I do have to implement something that will make them avoid each other, but I'm not that far yet. So um, yeah, it's gonna, grow this farm and once we're ready we can actually launch a harvesting quadcopter and uh, that will actually harvest all of this once it's of course fully grown so let's first set the time back to zero 
and um, while this uh, this quadcopter fertilizes all the uh, seeds, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, go through these items. So uh, there's different types of uh, yeah I've already explained there's different tiers, and so as the uh, material and size increases or gets stronger, um, you can uh, add more chests or batteries or modules to it. So um, one thing is you can't uh, put multiple basic modules in the same drone or at least it wouldn't be very useful because then it would just go around in loops and then do it all its jobs at the one block which would basically mean that your farm would only have to be one uh, one uh, <laughs> one block big because uh, yeah it's just gonna stick to that it's gonna uh, plant seeds fertilize them destroy the block plant seeds and <laughs> go around in loops and loops so you really want to have multiple uh, drones doing multiple tasks uh, because that's an efficient thing to do so um, but I do want next to the uh, the basic modules I already have implemented I want to get advanced modules so they are just gonna look for where their job can be done so for example this seed here it can be fertilized so if some uh, drone had the advanced fertilized module it would go over there fertilize it and then search for the next thing where it can fertilize go there instead of just going in in loops around the work marker so that those are going to be more efficient but the only drones that are going to be able to use those modules are going to be the aluminium ones so you'd have to make an aluminium drone uh, in order to use that advanced feature so uh, that's basically the uh, features uh, and uh, the levels that are in those so yeah there's multiple multiple levels of difficulty uh, and that i'm going to implement and um, yeah so that's uh, that's that so next are these batteries the batteries uh, i haven't implemented the energy system completely um, for now i'm just using uh, buildcraft uh, the jewels the minecraft jewels uh, which are also compatible with um, the, uh, the thermal expansion energy uh, so the, that's uh, at redstone flux so that's for my for my it's for me right now it's the most logical choice so uh, I can't show you that right now because I don't have in this environment I don't have the um, thermal expansion mod installed but in a different one I do so in the meanwhile it actually uh, yeah so the energy system needs to be uh, needs to still be implemented but in the meanwhile uh, it has completed um, growing everything so we're just going to pick all these drones up and um, I'm gonna go ahead and make a, a harvesting drone and we're gonna go ahead and launch that and that's gonna actually destroy all the wheat uh, normally you could launch it when it's not done because it will skip the seeds that aren't fully grown yet but uh, yeah so it's going to break them and it, currently it's not picking them up yet but in the future it will pick them up and will drop them in that chest uh, like yeah just like it should so that's still something i have to implement um, yeah so basically this is our farm complete if you would have all those running at the same time in a bigger farm you would get pretty pretty impressive uh, rates of production um so yeah let's talk about uh what else i uh, i have implemented so over here you can already see it uh, this is uh, uh, a mining module that has or mining drone a drone with a mining module that has done its job until I uh, picked it up uh, So yeah, it's just gonna a mining module is just gonna dig in the radius Around the work marker uh, until it hits lava and burns <laughs> or it hits bedrock So yeah, this one's gone pretty deep um, Yeah, so that's that um, so mining and farming is what I have implemented so far, but uh, I do want to uh, implement much more than that uh, So for example other farms, so for example a tree farm will be possible uh, Yeah, all, all sorts of things. I haven't even thought of everything I want to implement I'm sure 
So let's talk a bit, of, a little bit about uh, the crafting, the crafting of the uh, the drones. Um, I'm not. Uh, I, I, I. This is one of the things that I haven't uh, completed yet. Uh, that I'm still uh, kind of thinking about about what, how how I want to do it and yeah that sort of thing. So let's get a crafting bench or table. Um, I can show you what I have so far. So. Um, Right now, there's uh, there's a, for example the Skane quadcopter frame, which uh, can be combined with uh, four weak motors uh, in a crafting bench. So this is really how you get your drones. Uh, that's that's pretty much the same for all of them. Uh, the thing that's gonna vary is the how you get the parts. So the the aluminium frames will be harder to make than the the rest. Uh, I mean, you'll probably need a bigger machine, uh, machine, or you will need a machine uh, which is going to be complicated in its uh, to build. Uh, so yeah, that's going to increase the level of of of, of uh, work that needs to be done in order to get those frames, so that it will, yeah, it will actually be harder to get the better drones uh, than it will be to get the um, the simple drones. So. Um, yeah, this most simple drone will just require probably some iron, some copper for the motors, and some sugar cane and a lily pad, which uh, which the lily pad and sugar cane will make up the uh, the frame. That's how you'll get this frame. So uh, yeah, that's how you get your drones and how you craft them. I haven't exactly figured out how you'll get your wooden drones. There's gonna be uh, a more difficult way than just getting some planks. Because I don't want it to be more complicated than uh, the sugar cane. So uh, yeah, I, I haven't figured it out yet. I'll, I'll update you on that later. But um, yeah, next uh, I want to make this mod uh, uh, one expandable, but also um, I want to make it interact with other mods. So I've already experimented with uh, with the term expansion for energy system and um, I've uh, uh, tried computer craft. I want to be able to put a computer next to it and to, for this block to act as peripheral. So you can actually uh, yeah, do a number of tasks from the computer. Uh, yeah, that will be cool, I think. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, I think that's about it. I don't think I have much more to tell. So yeah, a quick wrap up. Uh, what I've currently implemented is a basic farm with a basic wheat farm to be exact and a mining module which will just dig a big hole <laughs> and uh, yeah what needs to be done is is, is the most part really uh, just the, the work the actual work the the textures for the items but also the textures for the drone themselves the models for the drone themselves currently there's only a simple quadcopter model which I'm not even happy with but there also needs to be a hexacopter model and an octocopter model and those will all have to have separate textures as well uh, also different textures based on uh, what material they're made out of so that's all things that need to be done um, let's, let's see what else uh, I think that's about it I think that's yeah I think that's all I have to tell so I think I'm gonna say bye here, and I'll uh, I'll see you at the next update. Bye.